what's up ninjas thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel thank you all so much for leaving me the likes the comments and just being part of this ninja family I appreciate you guys so much and thank you so much thank you 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 if you are new here don't forget to subscribe like share and comment and then feel free because now you are part of the ninja family so today's shout out goes to Sizzle's Diaries yay so then you my ninja people please go on over to her channel I will link the channel description down below so that you can go over to her channel and then subscribe like and share her out like we do at ninja vile and also if you'd like a shout out definitely screenshot this part tag me on my instagram account and then you might be the next to get a wonderful shout out okay ladies i got your questions i got your requests on how to keep your breasts firm perky voluptuous and so many other questions that comes with chest workouts um, and I'll try my utmost best to answer all those questions okay because this is quite a sensitive topic and I hope that I get to answer all your questions so before we start with the workouts and the different types of exercises that you can do and how many days and how often and etc etc I want us to dive a little bit into the anatomy because my dear ladies you gotta understand that underneath all this beautifulness there are a lot of anatomical structures like muscles adipose tissue ducts and all the many and you need to understand that these all together form up the breast and also the chest area now so to say so understanding the anatomy you will really get to understand what it is that you are working on and what it is that is giving you that uh, mass increase the hypertrophy so to say so it's not really like you're increasing your breast size it's more like the muscle that you're working on so let's dive right into the anatomy and then thereafter we will get into the workouts that I do regularly to give me that perk that firm that roundness and then hopefully it can help you as well basically the chest is made out of the sternal coastal cartilages the ribs the sternum and the clavicle that makes up the chest and on top of the skeleton you have the two pectoral muscles which is the pectoral major on the left and the pectoral minor on the right and the serratus anterior down below for a female the breast is basically fat the adipose tissue which is on top of the muscles and then on top of the breast itself you have the skin so it's the skin the fat and then the muscle in that order so when you are working out you're not working on the fat you're working on the muscles which are the pectoral major the largest one of them all underneath that you have the pectoral minor which is then situated under the breast itself and then you have the serratus anterior below and lateral all right so then that summarizes the anatomy i hope it was thorough i hope it was clear and i hope you got to understand a little bit about the anatomy of a woman's breast and uh, that it's not only fat you also have some muscle under there and that it's when you work out the muscle that you can actually get that lift that firmness and the tone it's not like really you're getting a new you know cup you're going a cup up or you're going a cup down whatever it's just basically firming so with the exercises there are a number of them that you can do and the first one that I'm gonna recommend are push-ups I know I know um, there are a lot of you guys that say that hey I don't know how to do a push-up I don't even know where to start my upper body strength is so weak so where do I start what do I need to do don't worry I got you so I'm gonna do a reaction on the videos that I shot 
and then we will go through every exercise together and I'll be explaining the steps, what you need to do, what you don't have to do, etc, etc. So my fellow ladies, I got you. So for the first workout, let's have a look at push-ups, beginner push-ups, beginner push-ups. Okay, so you wanna place your hands as close to your chest as possible and then kind of like push yourself off the floor and just snail it up so to say so you're just pushing yourself off the floor driving through your uh, pectoral muscles you're driving through your triceps and that's the basic way how to do a beginners push-up um, don't rush it don't rush it all right, so that was a beginner's push-up. Always keep your hands close to your chest. And then when you are pushing up, make sure that you're pushing up with your palms, driving through your chest area, and then obviously using your triceps. And that's the basic, basic, basic beginner's push-up because I know doing push-ups for a lady is very, very difficult. So, the second exercise, or not exercise rather, it's still a push-up but it's more like a modified um, intermediate push-up if you are well advanced from the beginners and you're taking, you wanna take it a step further, here goes. All right, a little dance. <laughs> okay, so you wanna get on your knees and you wanna put your hands a little bit wider than the beginners push-up more like um, a little bit wider than your shoulders and you want to make sure that you're not leaning down all the way like in the beginners push-up you're just leaning forward still driving through with your palms using your triceps um, and just leaning forward and then don't forget to breathe <laughs> okay and then don't forget to breathe because you understand uh, as time goes by that or rather I figured out that uh, if I take a deep breath before I do a push-up it kind of helps me I don't feel that heavy so really breathing also helps and then like I said drive through with your palms use your triceps with your chest and don't lean flat all the way like uh, the beginners push up now for the advanced okay not severely advanced because there are some people out there who do push-ups like flying and all those crazy other push-ups so for the advanced one it's basically like an intermediate so let's have a look and then I will run through it with you guys okay again on your toes uh, hands apart and then you want to make sure for me because I'm double jointed I keep my hands facing inwards but uh, to prevent your joints from locking or hurting yourself you want to keep your hands in this position and then when you are doing your push-up make sure that um, you're driving through with your palms and then you're coming up don't squeeze your elbows in don't overextend them just put your hands on the floor in this position and then when you go down you are in this position when you come up you're in this position don't overextend anything the reason why my hands are facing each other is because I'm double jointed as you have seen I have a tendency of like <laughs> oh my like okay no you can't see but my elbows they lock and they come become a kind of like X let me see uh, no you can't see it so it's almost as if they're X you know for people that have X legs that's me with my arms I don't know where I got it from I guess it's a thing but I am double jointed and that's why I keep my hands facing each other otherwise if I do this my uh, push-ups become really weird and I start feeling pain in other areas so I just don't do it okay so exercise number two would be a flat 
barbell bench press okay so uh, there's this notion that ladies are not supposed to bench press and bench pressing is only for men and um, you will look masculine or you will look too tough tough rough rough I don't know where people get these words from but bench press is a workout that works a lot of muscles you know you are working on your triceps you are working on your lats and you're working on the chest area at the same time and then for us ladies um, if you grab that barbell and then you pull it down all the way so that it's touching you know the lower part of your breast um, not the lower part of your breast like <laughs> like just below it you know um and you hold it for a few seconds and you kind of like squeeze your breast i know it sounds weird but this will all make sense as time goes by and then you drive through with your palm that is a way to work out the um terrace uh, the serratus anterior muscles and that will also help with you know the firming from the sides okay so let's get right into it so you want to make sure that you get on a bench there's a barbell you lie down flat completely I'm um, not you lie down flat completely uh, but make sure that your shoulder blades are touching each other and then you just drive down the barbell to touch like I said the lower portion of your breasts that sounds that sounds wrong when I say lower section of the breast, but you guys understand what I mean, right? Please forgive me. I wasn't schooled in this area. Um, so you just keep pushing through, and in that way, and in that way, like I said, you're working on your triceps, um, you're working on your lats, uh, and you're working on your chest areas. You know, um, to firm it, to make it round just to give it that lift but you're not working on the fat it's the muscle under the fat that we are working keep that in mind yes. okay so the second exercise are an incline dumbbell bench press okay so this is basically similar to the flat bench press but now you are on an incline uh, bench and this really puts so much pressure on the upper chest area because you know you're driving and you're bringing the dumbbell all the way until here and you want to make sure that when you are bringing it down that your um, arm is kind of like parallel to the floor don't drive it down all the way just you know parallel and then up and then like I said it's so much harder so really all that force is just up here so when you're working on this muscle it's kind of like you're lifting it and that alone will give you that lift that you need it's kind of like you're working on all muscles so with a flat bench press um, not to be specific it's more like you, you're starting from the lats driving through to the serratus anterior and then you kind of get a lift from the side and now with the um, incline uh, dumbbell uh, bench press it's kind of like you putting out all that weight up here and then they work on that muscle you should definitely try that ladies definitely okay let's move on so I would normally do between five um, sets of 15 reps um, I'm using a 10 kg dumbbell you can start light and then increase your weight as time goes by you don't have to start with 10 kg dumbbell it's, it's quite heavy all right the third one is now my favorite. This is the flat, flat, flat bench dumbbell 
um, chest press um, and then instead of just having it as an ordinary chest press I decided to make it alternating so what you do you lie down on the bench um, you have both your dumbbells right here so you bring it up on top of your head and then what you do you press one side then you bring it up then both sides then you bring it up then the other side so it's kind of like you alternating almost like working on each breast separately and then together when you are doing it in the middle so you have right breast boom together boom left breast boom growth boom firmness boom let's get it boom 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 yes so you are alternating and here again I'm using a 10 kg dumbbell you don't have to start with 10 kg you can start with a 3 or with a 2 and then as time goes by um, you definitely uh, would want to change that and then also just another thing that I want to stress you want to make sure that when you bring down the dumbbells um, bring it down to the side of your of your breast okay do not drop them on your chest do not drop them too far away you must make sure that when you're holding the dumbbell you just bring it down here down here and then up over your head and then down here all right and trust me if you do this every second day every third day you will get that firmness I cannot stress this enough ladies this is important this is important and that's why you see men like working on their chest and their chest really grow they will have like a whole humpy hump and then they will put like the water I don't know if you've seen it but there's a whole um, challenge that was about a few years ago um, guys put like a water on the chest to see if it can balance you know it, it was a whole thing so ladies in as much as men can grow their chest area we can also grow it firm it yes okay let's move on 10 kgs I do this my chest workout days are on Mondays every Monday for me is chest day okay then the fourth workout um, is really really important because this workout works on all the muscles that are surrounding um, the breast area and um, you are activating also your um, lats and at the same time you're also toning a little bit of the jiggle that we ladies that we don't like um, so these are what I call um, inclined circular swings with dumbbells so let's have a look and then we talk through it how often you should do it how many reps how many sets etc okay so you want to lie down on the bench and then hold uh, the dumbbells like like your palm should be facing upwards and what you want to do you want to drive outwards and over your head and that alone will help to firm the side uh, breast area the lower section the upper section and a little bit of the jiggles that we the so-called jiggle that we don't like um, and then you want to do between four to five sets of uh, 10 to 12 reps and again you can start with a light dumbbell don't go too heavy because it will put a lot of tension on your on your arm and we don't want that so you just want to use something light and you don't really if if, if you don't have um, an inclined bench you don't have to you know sit on it you can even do it while you're standing you know you just hold your dumbbell like this and then you swing it over your head and then down and then over your head and then down that too will be effective trust me okay now the fifth workout is one that I absolutely just 
hated in the beginning because I thought it was so difficult and one I couldn't get the technique right two my form was always horrible and three I was always feeling the pain in my lower back which I didn't know where it came from and my dear ladies I'm talking about cable flies and I'm sure you have seen guys in the gym you know by these two cable machine and they just like Oof, and they just like Oof, and then just like flying and flying and you're like what are they doing but my dear ladies those men are busy pumping their chest they're busy firming their chest growing it and just making it bigger so we ladies can also do it and I'm gonna show you how so you want to grab you know a cable from both sides then you step forward with your um, dominant leg and then you bend your elbows a little bit as you're going out as you can see it's here and then you want to make sure you drive through the force with your palm and make sure that when you are bringing your arms together you're bringing it in front of your chest not up here right in front of your chest so it's like you know and you're pushing through and you're pushing through and you are pushing through so that alone what you are doing as you're pushing with your palms you are kind of like forcing your um, chest your your muscles your um, pectoral muscles you're activating them and you're driving the force through them you know and a little bit also of the deltoid but it's more prominent the pectoral muscles that you are using and that force there is kind of like you are activating when you're working on those muscles okay so from the front like I said you grab a cable from the right from the left you step forward with your prominent leg mine is obviously the right and as you can see um, my elbows are a little bit bent and I'm driving through with my um, wrists and I'm locking it in right in front of my chest it's not above it's not below it's right in front and don't forget to breathe and don't forget to lean forward you need to lean forward a little bit otherwise you'll be standing all the way forward and you're just not gonna get anything done I really honestly speaking I didn't like this workout because like I said my form was always off um, I felt like it was really difficult couldn't get it and I also just I was feeling the pain in my lower back instead of feeling the pain anywhere else but I guess uh, muscles have a way of just knowing what's been worked out and they just figure out things as time goes by and as time go by I started seeing some results man yeah, so I'm proud of myself yay and I can't wait for you to start seeing your results I promise you do these workouts um, on a regular and you will see results there is a saying that if you want to grow a certain um, aspect of your body like for example if you want to grow your glutes you want to grow your quads you want to grow your calves whatsoever then you need to work on that particular area three to four times in a week now ladies same thing applies for breast if you want to firm it if you want to tone it if you want to lift it if you want it to be voluptuous and round and full and all that then you need to work on it at least three to four times in a week and you can incorporate other workouts with it you know it doesn't have to be completely a chest workout every single day I beg of you to start light with a weight that you can manage and then as time goes by you increase your weight you increase your reps etc etc with the current situation of um, lockdown and some people's uh, gyms not open yet you can do this workout at home um, I had posted a whole lockdown quarantine workout you can check that out I will link it at the end of this video then definitely just uh, comment down below if you had enjoyed it or you know if there's anything else that I should post concerning um, 
chest workout and like home workouts, etc. etc. So until further ado, my ninja people, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate each and every one of you, and I would definitely want to see results of this chest workout, both guys and both ladies. Um, let us know. Let us know. Until next time.